Welcome guys, I am Parinita. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to receive regular notifications regarding the computer science topics and technical job updates. Hello guys, welcome to my channel to polish your CSE concepts with me. So, let's get started. In today's video, we are going to learn about link state routing. This is a very important topic of computer networks subject, right? Um, as you must be knowing, in my previous videos of computer networks, we have already, already discussed about the routing protocols in details. We have seen what are the different type of routing protocols, what is the significance of each type. After that, we have al also uh, studied uh, distance vector routing in detail. We have seen the example also how distance vector routing example can be solved with the help of the algorithm. Right. We have already seen those things. Now in this video we are going to see link state routing. Uh, for link state routing normally we are applying Dijkstra's algorithm. It is a very important algorithm. You must have already heard about it. So today we are going to see what link state routing algorithms or Dijkstra algorithm actually is and how it is applied. We will see with the help of one standard example. Fine. So first of all what is link state routing uh, and why it is used. So this link state routing or Dijkstra's algorithm is used to find out the shortest path from one node to every other node in the network. For example, this is the network example of network I have shown here. For example, this A node is there. So with the help of this link state routing, we will be able to find out the shortest path from A to every other node, right? Like we can find out the shortest path from every node to every other node present in the network. In this, each router shares the knowledge of its neighborhood with every other router in the internet network. So they will be communicating internally with all the nodes. Why? All the nodes will be communicating internally and then they will be sharing the knowledge that they will be having about the distance of each other. And so ultimately every node will know its shortest distance to every other node present in the network. That's all about link state routing or Dijkstra's algorithm. Now, and this is the example given, we will be seeing that how to apply Dijkstra's algorithm on this network. See, many people think that it is very complicated or it is very tough, it is very confusing, but believe me, it is not. If you understand it step by step, then it is actually very easy. This is very important topic also in terms of academics as well as in terms of competitive exams like GATE, ISRO, BARC. Net, we have seen that in all the competitive exams, in wherever computer science, wherever computer networks is a part of your subject, mostly in all those exams, this distress algorithm have been asked in some questions or other, right? So it is actually very important. So let's see how to solve this graph. What we want to do is we want to apply Dijkstra's algorithm on this graph and we have to find out the shortest distance from every node to every other node. This is our main aim. Fine? Okay. So let's start. How to solve this? This is the question of the graph that is given to us. So in order to solve this, what we will do? First of all, uh, we will be writing down all the nodes present to us. So the nodes present to us are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 nodes are present to us. We have to write them down. So S a, B, C, D, E, F, G and T. Okay. So let me write it down here. S, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and T. T. Fine. So these are the nodes given to us. And this is S. Let me write S here. This is the S node, fine. So I hope you are able to see the whole diagram as well as this table. So this is the S node and these are all the other nodes with the weights given to us. Now what we want to do, we want to find out the distance from each node to every other node. So these are the nodes we have given, uh, we have already written. Now we are assuming among all the nodes, you have to assume that one of them is the source node, obviously, fine. So here we will assume that this S node is my source node. I am assuming this S to be my source node, fine. So how I have to proceed? This is my source node, I am assuming. So first of all, first of all, let us assume that we don't know the path, we don't know the cost of any um, cost, we don't know the cost or distance of any of the nodes 
so ultimately so initially we will consider all of them to be infinite now we are considering that the source is s so i have to start considering source s that the distance from s to all these nodes is infinite so s to a is infinite i am considering them to be infinite fine because we don't know any of the cost yet so initially we will consider them as infinite now s to s the distance from s to s will be zero because s is itself the source so s to s is zero so what i have done initially i have to consider every distance as infinite and s to s distance is zero fine done now after every step what i have to do is whatever out of all these rows see uh, listen it carefully that out of all these values of this row whatever is minimum i will consider that value to be fine uh, final now here all among all the values if i compare all these values are infinite only this one is zero that means this is my minimum distance so this is my minimum distance so i will consider that it is my final final value so the final value of s is zero that is finalized so here what i have done s is zero i have finalized it and now for the further calculation i will no more consider this s as my destination this is source source is s and that will remain but like one node is done and i have finalized this s as zero and now i will find out for all the others fine so how to proceed first of all s is zero that is finalized now after finalizing this s is zero now this is finalized so what i need to do is now i have to see which are the nodes that are directly adjacent to s so the nodes adjacent to s are see adjacent to s are adjacent to s means what the nodes that are directly connected with s so which are the nodes that are directly connected to s a d and b you are understanding they are directly connected to s right so a d and b now the value of a is 4 the value of a is 4 i have to update it the value up to d is 7 the value up to b is 3 4 3 7 now we have updated it do we need to update any other no because directly connected is a d and b only so a d b we have updated the values and all the values will remain in finite as it is so we need not to write them fine so this row is also completed now what is the second task we have to do again we have to see that what is the minimum value out of all these values so minimum is 4 3 7 we have updated all the other we have to consider that they are infinite as it is so the minimum value out of all these is 3 so again we will finalize the value b of 3 so we will finalize b of 3 and we will cancel out b also that the node b is also done so we will cancel out b also this is how we have to proceed go on proceeding okay so the next thing we got is b is b of 3 finalize value of b is 3 so now i have to consider which are the adjacent nodes to b now if i consider this b the adjacent nodes are that is directly going from b we can directly go to d only d right from b i cannot go to anywhere anywhere else from b i can go to d so b to d is 4 b to d is 4 so d value is 4 now um okay like how we have to consider it as c our source is s so finally we have to calculate the value from the source s now b is 3 so i have to consider that from the source s which is the node where i can directly go through b so from s to b see from s to b i have already reached by three distance now from 3 i can go to d with the help of four distance so from s that is from b it is 4 and up to b i want 3 so 3 plus 4 is 7 so for reaching to d from s i want 3 plus 4 that is 7 now the value of d is already 7 we need not to update it when we are updating whenever we are getting 
the value less than the existing value like see here 4 3 in the first step we got 4 3 and 7 and these three values were less than infinite right so we have updated it whenever we are getting any value that is less than the existing value then and only then i need to update in this case i am getting b2d is 4 that means 3 plus 4 that is 7 i got i am getting the value 7 but 7 is already present so i need not to update anything if i'm if i would have got any value less than 7 then I would have updated it but here I am not getting any such values so in this row there will be no updates no updates now again out of these existing values what is the most minimum the C uh, the minimum one was 3 I have already taken that B is done now out of 4 7 and infinite what is minimum 4 so I have to finalize the value of A that is 4 A 4 is finalized here fine a4 is finalized here so the next task is uh, the task of a is done and now i will see the values or the nodes that are adjacent to a a of 4 is finalized that from s to a i can reach up to 4 now after 4 i have to edit i have to add the values that are directly adjacent to a so the uh, nodes that are directly adjacent to a are only c only c is there from a i can directly go to only c with the help of cost 1 and the cost already up to for reaching up to a is 4 so 4 plus 1 is 5 so in c i have to write 5 why i have updated because the initial value was uh, infinite and 5 is less than infinite so i have updated it fine okay so okay let me cancel out this 0 is also done this 4 is done this 3 is done now out of the remaining values 5 7 and infinite what is the minimum one 5 so i will write i will finalize c5 here i will finalize c5 here now similarly i have to find out the adjacent nodes c5 is done so c is done this 5 is also done now i will see the adjacent values adjacent nodes from c now the adjacent nodes from c is from c i can go directly to e up to c the value is 5 so 5 plus 1 so e will i am getting e as 6 e as 6 so i will update the value 6 in e apart from that i can go directly from c to d with the cost 3 so 5 plus 3 that is 8 for d i am getting 8 but see for d i am getting 8 but for d i am already having 7 and 7 is already less than 8 so i need not to update it i will not update it i have to consider the minimum one and 7 is already minimum so i need not to update it from c can i go to anyone any other node no only e and d that's it fine so i am not going to update anything else so what is remaining out of remaining what is minimum one 7 6 and infinite so the minimum one is 6 so e is done 6 is done i will be writing finalizing the value e of 6 now which are the nodes adjacent to e of 6 i can directly go to g with 2 so e is already finalized as 6 so 6 plus 2 is 8 for g i am getting 8 then from e where else i can go i can directly go to t also for t i am having 4 so 6 plus 4 is 10 i am getting 10 for t so for t i am getting 10 fine for t i am getting 10 okay i have updated it any other node no so okay now out of the remaining uh, nodes uh, out of the remaining values which one is minimum 7 8 10 and infinite so 7 is minimum so i will finalize the value d of 7 d7 i will finalize and i will check out the nodes that are directly connected to d so the nodes that are directly connected to d are d t out of t, uh, d i can go reach to t in the cost 3 so up to d i am having 7 7 plus 3 is 10 i got t 10 but t value is already 10 so i need not to update it fine anything else mm, d i am going to reach t i am going to reach e see i am going to reach e also but e is already done e is already done so we need to need not to consider that then from d i can go to f also 5 so 7 plus 5 is 12 i am getting the value of f as 12 okay f as 12 so i will update it okay fine there is no other node clear now i will see the minimum uh, minimum value now from the existing 12 8 10 what is minimum 8 is minimum 
so i will cancel out g i will cancel out 8 and i will take finalize the value of g as 8 fine okay from g where i can go from g i can reach to only one node that is t um, g value is 8 plus 3 uh, 9 10 11 so i am getting the value of t as 11 but the value of t is already 10 that is minimum so i am not going to update it so here also we will get no updates now out of the remaining value which one is minimum 12 10 what is minimum 10 is minimum so i will finalize t as 10 so i will finalize t as 10 from t where i can go from t i can go to only f that is 5 t value is 10 so 10 plus 5 is 15 i am getting the value of f as 15 but the value of f is already 12 which is minimum so i am not going to update it and i am going to write here as no updates because i am not going to update anything now out of the remaining value which one is minimum only 12 is remaining nothing else is remaining so i will be simply finalizing the value of f as 12 so i am finalizing the value of f as 12 is there any node that is remaining no or oh, see you can check out here we have cancelled out that means all the nodes are already seen we have already seen all the nodes we have got the values of all the nodes so here are the values that i am getting see these values are also important and this sequence is also important so ultimate what is the answer i am getting i got the answer as write it sequentially that's it so what is the answer that i got s b a c e d g t f this is the sequence i got and the values i got are 0 plus 3 the this is the um, particular values and if i add them up see these are the values that i got 10 and 12 right if i add them up i will be getting 55 that means what what is the significance what are the things that you can conclude from this is this is the sequence that if we go by this sequence it will give me the optimum result optimum path and this is this is the total uh, cost of the path that means the minimum cost or the minimum uh, the minimum cost to parse the whole graph is 55 this is the minimum cost that we can afford and we can go through all the nodes of the graph that is one thing we can infer from here the other thing that we can conclude is the minimum distance from h to s is 0 the minimum distance from h to b is 3 h to b to then h to b is 3 h to a is 4 h to c is 5 so this is the minimum distance from this to all the other nodes we can get from here we can get the minimum path the parsing of the path and we can get the minimum cost of the path so these are all the things that we can go uh, we can get from this distress algorithm and this is the main thing or the main method that you must be knowing if you do that step by step it is actually very easy i hope you have understood the whole distress algorithm in case you still have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section thank you so much